सो हाई एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अनदर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग सो नाउ वी आर एंटरिंग टू द फील्ड ऑफ लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल्स यू गाइज मस्ट बी नोइंग अबाउट दैम यू नो यू हैव चैट जी पी टी नाउ डेज यू हैव बार्ड यू नो अबाउट बिग मॉडल्स लाइक लामा बट यू नो द पॉइंट इज देर इज स्टिल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ हेल्यूसिनेशन दैट टेक्स प्लेस नाउ टेक एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई गिव अ क्वेरी टू माई एल एल एम टू माई एल एल एम नाउ सपोज इफ द एल एल एम नोज इट इट विल आंसर करेक्टली बट इफ इट कंप्लीटली डजन नो इट इट विल ऑब्वियसली से आई डोंट हैव दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन बट इफ इट इज पार्शियल इन्फॉर्मेशन इट विल डेफिनेटली से इट विल हेल्यूसिनेट इट विल हेल्यूसिनेट सो टू ओवरकम दिस थिंग लाइक सपोज यू आर बिल्डिंग एन एल एल एम दैट कैन ओनली प्रोवाइड इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इज वैलिडेटेड राइट विच इज वैलिडेटेड एंड इफ दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन साइड इट इट शुड रिटर्न सॉरी आई डोंट नो इंस्टेड ऑफ गिविंग हेल्यूसिनेटेड आंसर विच इज रॉन्ग राइट सो दिस होल कॉन्सेप्ट विच आई एक्सप्लेन टू हेयर राइट नाउ इज नोन एज रैक रैक कुल डोंट वरी वी आर इवन गोइंग टू डाइव इन टू इट्स रिसर्च पेपर नाउ आई विल टेक फाइव मिनट्स टू गो थ्रू इट्स रिसर्च पेपर एट दी वेरी एंड ऑफ द वीडियो यू गाइज कैन स्किप इट इफ यू वॉन्ट बट आई विल गो थ्रू इट सो दैट यू गाइज हैव अ डीपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ वॉट इज हैपनिंग इयर सो दिस वॉट इज दिस होल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रैक so rack stands for retrieval augmented generation now its research paper you know came back in 2021 and it was you know released by uh, facebook ai research team uh, i think with collaboration with new york university and uh, university college london so what is happening exactly here is uh, suppose think like this you are building a chatbot right suppose you are building a chatbot let's take you are building the chatbot for a bank company for a bank let's say this bank is xyz now you are building a chatbot and you are using the power of llm right you are using the power of llm now large language models either provide you something or they won't so you are giving it a prompt you are giving it a prompt prompt what this prompt is if i am giving you a query if i am giving you a query and i am also giving you an answer i am giving you a query and i am also giving you an answer if this answer is valid to this query if this is answer is valid to this query then return something correct else return something wrong now how you will get this question and answer query is generated by the user and this answer you will get through a database like you have a database where all the information of this particular bank is feeded suppose whatever like 65 pdf files are feeded 65 pdf files are feeded to this uh, database and from that the answer that is close related to query is find is like found and then given to the llm using a prompt right simple as that now things don't like are not that simple like you are thinking here i will just explain you i hope you guys have a basic idea of how llms work like you guys have an uh, like an idea of how embedding works because that is very important because it's a core thing how embedding work how attention and indexing work attention indexing works and like a basic overview of that llm whole transformer architecture like these four five things you need to know for understanding in detail about rag right so let's understand the architecture cool uh think like this this is your database this is your database cool and this is not a normal database it's a vector database vector database remember uh, everything is embedded so think like this think like this uh, suppose you have given your pdf files to this database it automatically convert all your pdf files and everything into vector indexes you, you don't have to worry about that now now one day a user comes one day a user comes and give a query to your chatbot okay this is your chatbot c now this user query this user query will go to an embedder will go to an embedder because you need to search similarity between the query between the query and the answer so for comparing both of them you need to have a cosine similarity right you need to have a cosine similarity and for having a cosine similarity you need both of them in the similar manner right you will embed both of them you will do positional embedding and for that you will need an embedder right so this embedder will convert that into uh, what you say uh, the the embedded portion like vector so this will now go to here and this 
there would be an indexing module let's say a retrieval engine here it will be a retrieval retrieval code will be there what it will do it will take out the top k results it will take out the top k results it will take out the top k results and give to your llm llm now your llm has the question that is query your llm has the top top three results let's say three results that okay these are the three most uh, what do you say cosine similar results to this particular query now your llm can generate an answer from here now your llm can generate a put an answer from here and it will be given to the user right it will be given to the user simple as that nothing very fancy but yeah you need to have a basic uh, like understanding now this particular embedder can even be used by the data source like you are using the data source so even this embedder will be acting like that so because you need to have like similarity things so yep it's very important so yeah that is it in a nutshell how rag architecture works right now the whole concept of this arises with the you know understanding like every time you are building a closed llm the like closed llm uh in that case you need like you need to have authenticated information or no information right you can either return true information or not wrong information uh yeah something like that now the point of building this whole part is suppose someone uh, someone asks me today that uh, what is small what is the smallest planet like like which is the smallest planet right which is the smallest planet now if you ask this to me uh, I, let's say 20 years back right 20 years back i would have said you pluto pluto right because if you understand like uh, wh whichever uh, yeah you were born in but if you go 20 years back uh, you you will understand that uh, at that time pluto was considered the smallest planet right so now in this case let's say uh, the llm is trained on 20 years old data right it is trained on 20 years old data and suppose the llm was trained on that time like 20 years before and it hasn't been updated right now now someone who asks it today it will give the same result but if you have a database where things keep updating and even if it doesn't keep updating it doesn't give you wrong information so suppose it has the correct answer which is mercury here now mo model will go and fetch the answer and give you right but even if it doesn't get it won't give you the wrong answer it won't give you hallucinated or uh, that is, is what what i can say let's say i'm um, uh, answer which is not correct which was correct before but not right now outdated information so yeah that is the whole concept of this so this is how rag works cool this is how rag works now i will just uh, give you guys a glimpse of how the research paper looks like and i will give you guys the link of the research paper you guys can go and read about it it's a wonderful research paper and is used by this architecture is used by a lot of companies believe me a lot so yeah let's move to the research paper part so yeah i think we are good to go when it comes to the research paper i will give you guys the link to this research paper uh, you can you guys can go and read it from here it's a wonderful research paper so yeah from above we have already talked about the whole concept how it works uh, now coming uh, like down to the main architecture here you see uh, this is the retriever this is the query encoder and this is the document index so nowadays uh, a lot of things are available for it like for indexing you can even use uh, re rankers for that uh, and for say, like indexing and you know checking the top k let's say top 2 or top 3 you can simply use cosine similarity right and uh, there is lama index for everything then you have the databases that are vector databases you guys can store in a lot of vector vector databases like pinecone is one of a very famous uh, vector database so here you go uh, this is your uh, like generator this is the like you are using and this is the retriever part this is the document index and this is the uh, let's say the query and after it uh, you asked a question the fact verification is dead from uh, like is is done then it goes to the document index part getting the top k results then the generator is here the marginalized uh, marginalized and you get the question answer uh, you know the generated answer and the fact verification and this is a question uh, question generation right so we combine a pre trained retriever with a pre trained sequence to sequence model and fine tune end to end as it is written here so yeah so here you can see the methods in detail uh, these are the like uh, models that have been used so the rag sequence model here use the same retrieve document 
you guys can go through this equation all the variables are defined here it's a sequence to sequence probability so it's not that tough uh, when it comes to the rack token model yep uh, you know you take the top k uh, documents that are retrieved right so here you can see the formula is according to that only so then we have the retriever the dpr as you say so here you can see they are using bert as here the you know tokenize and everything the buy encoder architecture the dpr is following obviously now uh, the generator is bart here uh, you we are they are using bart large here uh, and using you know pre you know pre trained sequence to sequence transformer you know in this particular thing they are just defining an architecture as an example you guys can go and you know compare things according to yourself right uh, there are a lot of tools available already online like llama index is one of the best you can define your own embedder you can define your own uh, let's say the uh, llm model right and then you guys can just do whatever you want from that by making sure that the database is indexed accordingly and is used as a query engine it's very simple in the next video i will get you guys one video for that now you guys can experiment with uh, you know rag in knowledge intensive task as they are saying open domain question answering you have abstractive question answering they have given all the results to them uh, so yeah these are the results here you say the, the closed book results and the, these are the open book results so you can clearly see the difference right so yep just go through it and you can see the wonderful results that these guys have achieved uh, when it comes to uh, the yeah here you say the human assessment for the jeopardy question generation task the rag better is actually 42.7% which is highest here and the specific specificity is 37.4% cool pretty cool right so here you can say the performance of all of them in the in the in a graph represented here uh, so these are the all the like references here you can guys can go through it and just uh, like look on the things which you already don't know so yep that was it from my side i will give you the link to the resources you guys can go and read in the next video maybe we can uh, do a simple coding for uh, for using llama index to make you guys see how in coding this whole uh, rag architecture works like so yeah guys thank you and have a nice day